fucking building. I could see that the, whole, the, the plane went directly through the building. And I see that there's gaping holes in Tower One. So it, the, the ride seemed like an eternity, you know? My mind was racing. It was an extremely frightening feeling. It, it really was. We pulled up right in front of the North Tower, and there was a lot of broken glass. I got out of the car, I put on my gear, and I walked into the lobby. And as I walked in, I saw two people to my right, badly burnt. My instinct was to help them but I knew that wasn't my job. My job was to take command. And I knew we had firefighters would come in and, and take care of them. As we walked in, we found out that all the jet fuel went down the elevator shafts and blew out the whole lobby. So anybody standing in the path of that blast was dead. You know, I, maybe 20, 30 people I just seen, you know, basically burnt to death on the floor. It was pretty horrific. Captain Tardio came back to me and said he couldn't find an elevator that was working. So that meant that firefighters had to climb. And the top would be 110 stories. Elevators, closing. Elevators, what do you got going? Nothing is running. Find out so you get afraid anything going up. And as firefighters came in, they came in quietly. This noise from the equipment we carry, but they didn't say a lot. They were thinking about what lied ahead. And they thought about how they would handle it. As the people were coming down the stairs, I was directing them through what was a revolving door, and there was a lot of broken glass.
and a lot of the women had taken off their high heel shoes to be able to move down the stairs quicker, and now their feet are getting ripped to shreds.